What's up, y'all? Good morning. Uh, I'm on my way right now to get this thing assisted. And by all means, is this is exactly what I wanted. Very far from it, but it's a good ass deal and I'm not gonna pass this up, so I'm gonna go pick this shit up. I won't really get much in the detail here, I'll just let you guys see it first. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out right now. Uh, I didn't really feel much of the profit, it's a little funny, but uh, sheesh! <laughs> I'm the owner of a uh, 05 G35 sedan. It's like stuttering. What? Alright, it doesn't have a plate because uh, he hasn't had a, he hasn't really been driving it for a while. So I just gotta drive real close by to my dad. He knows to angle out. <laughs> it's really I mean it's not low low, but the exhaust does hang pretty low. So it'd be scraping. But yeah, that shit looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little dirty, it looks really nice with just cleaned up. Like he sent me pictures. But uh yeah we'll we'll get through with this later. I'm just trying to get this home and hopefully uh nothing goes nothing goes bad. Oh we took a rain shot on the car. We took a rain check on the car. Uh, originally, we were told that it just had some electrical issues like the dash and the turn signals and the brake lights. But uh, we drove it around a little bit and it seemed fine. So we're like, all right, we'll come back for it tomorrow. And we came back, drove it on the road and it's like stuttering. It's like banging off rev limiter anytime you step on it. And he told us that there's a ripped filter and that uh, that could be the problem, but I don't think it should be banging off red line like that. And then uh, it also smells heavily of gas and it does have test pipes. But it should smell like carbon monoxide, not gasoline. So we think the injectors are bad. I did have an engine swap. So I don't really want to deal with that, thinking that the engine is probably just not thrown in right. So I don't really know how to approach this and talk. It's a little weird. But I just wanted to like, say what was going on with that car. Uh, overall, it wasn't too bad. Uh, but I just didn't really want to deal with it. The point was to have a car to buy to flip. But if I didn't know what was wrong with it, I didn't want to put in hella money and then not make any money, you know what I mean? Because originally I was told it was just electrical issues and I had already figured out what it was. Uh, the wheel had like chewed through like some wiring for the headlights and it like, it made the whole circuit go bad, which was like not a big deal. Like I already did it to my G, uh, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But then not knowing like why it was stuttering so bad, you know, because he told me it needed an intake. He said it had like a hole in it and I was like, okay, cool. But then we looked at it and it was fine. And it was, it was like the hole that comes in. So like it's like the intake comes and it has like a little like scoop in, I guess. It's like, but like that was fine. So I don't know if it was injectors. I don't know if it was, uh, could have been spark plugs, could have been uh, coil packs. And it, and all in all, it w that wouldn't have been too bad anyways. But he then told me I had an engine swap and I was like, I don't know if they put this engine in right, if the harness is on wrong. And that's why it's stuttering so bad. Like, I don't, like you know, I, I don't know. So I didn't really want to deal with it at that point. Uh, don't get me wrong, it was, it was very nice. Uh, it's not like he misled me, he just like, you know, he just didn't know, he didn't drive for like two months. Uh, Cause he got pulled over for having uh, no tail lights and no blinkers. And he was like, okay, whatever. Like, I'm gonna just get a day and then fix this. And he never got around to it. And he just kind of sat there. So I don't I don't blame him. The guy was cool, he gave my money back. You know, he didn't make it a big deal. He was like, oh, Brian, I didn't even know. And like, right after we drove away, like I heard him turn the car in and go for, he'll drive himself. So obviously I don't think he knew it was wrong either. Just kind of bad timing, bad situation. But I'm just glad I got my money back to be honest. Uh, and even if I would have fixed it, would have sold it. Cause once again, it was a tan interior, automatic. It was an 05 though, so it was kind of nice. Well, I mean, oh no, my G was nice. The 04 I had was nice. My mom has a 2011 Infiniti QX50. Looks like a big ass just family car. And only has power windows on her window. And my G had power windows all around, like all four windows. So, you know, I'm not saying nothing, but I'm saying something. But overall, not mad about it. If it was a manual car, I would have been blue balled hard and I would have been pissed. But it was an auto, it was tan interior. I was gonna flip it anyway, so I'm not too mad about it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of extend this video. It was kind of short and just kind of explain what happened. But 
Yeah, other than that, I don't know what to say. So, like, y'all, y'all stay safe, stay blessed, and bust up. And that was corny, bro. <laughs> But I'm gonna throw it in anyways, cause being a YouTuber is corny shit, so whatever. Calling me up, I'ma change on my number. So many diamonds, I'm cold in the summer. Still in my sign like we 